Youth Runner here with Bountiful Star Hayden Hooper, 1507-26, one of the best performances ever in the Utah High School Activities Association uh, 5A final, uh, top four overall, uh, which is obviously extraordinary here at Sugar House Park. Uh, anything uh, sub-15-10 at Sugar House Park is uh, absolutely brilliant, and especially to move up from 12th last year to being a state champion. You are such a driven individual, and you were surrounded by such awesome teammates and support system. I'm curious, Hayden, when you left the regional athletic complex last year, like, did you even have, like, I know you had the ambition, I know you had yeah. the goal, but did you see a vision even back then of like, hey, if, if I can stay healthy and just continue to grow and develop and improve and put in the work that I could be a state champion as a senior? Uh, I knew it was a possibility, but I knew it was going to be super hard. So it was kind of in the back of my head. That's what I was working for. But. And just your consistency this year, yeah. you know, has just been spectacular. Uh, I mean, just to, to, uh, to be able to, uh, just to be so spot on in, in, in workouts and, and obviously in, uh, in, in racing in big moments. Like, what did that do just to kind of increase that, uh, th that belief and kind of, you know, uh, uh, affirm and, and validate that, like, hey, we're doing the right things. I just need to get to the starting line healthy. Yeah, it held my confidence a ton being able to race a bunch. I didn't have very many bad races, which I had a lot in the last few years. And then I stayed injury free. So that was the big thing was just staying healthy and getting there. Most definitely. today. In, in, in terms of just getting the mind right for this course, and the, you know, and the, the challenges that you need to respect, and you know, and the, and you know, and the areas that you need to be, you know, most mindful and uh, and, and most aware of, you know, how good did you uh, did you feel about like the visualization and the preparation for this this course specifically? Yeah, I spent a ton of time visualizing this course the last few days and weeks, and then we did workouts. We came here for a workout a few weeks ago, and we just did hills and fast reps to get ready for the hills, and it was it was really fun. I love this course. I was really happy when I heard it was going to be here. So I've been looking forward to it for a while. So obviously, uh, you know, little past uh, the, the mile mark, there's three, and then it just ends up becoming yeah. you and Edward and, and whatnot. Like, I mean, was it more on instinct and feel, or along with that visualization, did you did you kind of play it out in your mind of like, hey, if there's going to be one definitive move, this is where it has to be? In, in my mind, it was me and Edward racing for that finals, but I had it. I, did, I didn't think I was going to break away that early, so when the opportunity came, I just jumped on it. Like, I saw him fall back a tiny bit, I came even, and I just left. What kind of confidence uh, uh, does this particular performance, and like we talked about, you know, it, uh, it's you know a very elite group that's coming out of here, sub-15-10, getting ready to go down to sea level in Arizona, like just, what, uh, what, what does that do just to... Uh, you know, just to kind of get, uh, give you more ambition and more drive to be like, uh, I don't want the last race to be on November 23rd, I want yeah. it to be on December 7th. Yeah, that gives me a lot more confidence for NXR. I was able to run up times with like Kyle Studman and those guys who are hopefully going to be going, and I'll hopefully be going too. I was able to beat a bunch of the guys that I was thinking I'm going to be racing there, so if I can do it again, it should be good. It'll be, it'll be yeah. a good path to Glendale yeah. Golf Course. Hayden, uh, fantastic performance today. Again, 1507-26, uh, well-deserved, man. Thank you.